Hi everyone, so in this quick tutorial you will learn how you can create this, yeah, I think very interesting organic kind of shape and you will learn techniques that you can obviously use in your other projects. And in this tutorial we will cover this piece here, so the raw thing. Uh, but the problem is you can't fill it any edge because you see you have like very hard edges on, on a, a smooth surface so it's not realistic and you can't fill it anything. So you see it's one object but you can't add automatically fillets at all, nowhere. So just like something like that but it's yeah, going just here and so for those who want to learn a little bit more the aesthetical manual way of surface modeling, how you can create such absolute perfect fillets all over with beautiful smooth connections. So as you see, you don't see anything. <laughs> really cool. This I'm teaching in, my, in our new Plasticity Accelerator membership program. First link in the description and you will learn not just that, this membership will be the most, the best place for yeah, plasticity enthusiasts. You will also learn how to create this really cool amazing design from from scratch or if you like organic shapes and like vases and sculptures also that we are covering in member in the membership or if you are more into products and more yeah, kind of professional use kind of right yeah we also have this handy vacuum cleaner where you will learn so this is a little bit for people which have already a little bit experience with surface modeling because look, we have so much smooth organic shapes with those hard edges and all of those roundings here. So yeah, everything in the Plasticity membership, multiple monthly tutorials and courses all in one place. So check out first link in the description and let's jump in into our quick tip here. So we will start off very simple. If we go to the top view, we will create a rectangle press C so it's um, yeah, same size everywhere and press O offset because we need a smaller piece and here on the outside press B for bevel and give it a nice juicy yeah, bevel here and this one we want to give a little bit of a rounding because then it will not look so generic so it will be just a little bit more interesting so for that we want to give it here some rounding for that you can press shift s to subdivide only that rectangle and if you press s and s so scale you can you see you can scale those points outwards and just give it here a little bit of a rounding and now again select it press b and here we give also some nice bevels you see i think that looks much much better perfect let's give it here an edge so press o to offset and bring those two curves in the middle a little bit higher. You can play around as you want, right? But something like that. And this in the middle, again, just bring it a little, little bit downwards. Just to bring a little bit of variation. And again, I'm showing you here the base, but you can add later on all of your details and just play around and yeah, let your creativity flow. And so let's start to create some surfaces to where we will attach then our organic shape. So select two curves, press L to loft, and basically we don't need those curves, so delete them. And this curve as well, press E for extrude, and we need here a little bit of a thickness. Perfect. So as always, we work with surfaces, right? Because if you watch my tutorials, yeah, that is just so much more powerful and we have so much more control. And now we have to create basically basically that yeah swirl shape or like tornado i don't know how to call that and then we want to give it here some rounding and we just need one piece because we will see we can just mirror everything over so pretty cool what you will learn here and first of all because we will um, array that around so we just want to work kind of with one quarter so for that, select this face and press Ctrl R. This is my shortcut for isoparam. So search for isoparam, Ctrl R and bring in the middle an extra edge. And the same here, Ctrl R, select the face, Ctrl R, press tab so it's um, vertical. And now we have to take this edge here and this edge 
because what we want to achieve, we want here continuity. We want a nice, okay, that's not what we want. So we want here a nice, beautiful, smooth, organic, aesthetic uh, connection. And here we want G1 and here we want G1 as always. No, not as always, but in this case. <laughs> um, so we select both of those edges and then shift B. That's my command for bridge edges. So search for bridge edges. And by the way, if you want to use my shortcuts, which are super optimized just for the left hand and we can work so fast, check out in the link in the description. You have a PDF with all of my shortcuts and yeah, the basic terms of surface modeling, what continuity G1 is and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, you always have it um, to hand if you need it. So we have something like that and we will use G1. And the same we will do on this quarter. So again, select both of those edges, shift B, bridge edge, G1 will be fine. And now you see we have one quarter. So if you select those three, uh, those few edges and press shift three, this is my command for patch. Bam. You see, we are almost done, but you see we are messing here this organic form because it's just, you see, it's just straight. So, I mean, it still looks really cool, but to make it even more interesting, we have to add another curve, which will squeeze that face a little bit inside. So shift A, create a line and just go here from end point to end point. So roughly in the middle, but you can play around. You can also attach it here to the middle. Yeah, but shift S, go to the front view and this point we will drag down a little bit, right? So you see, we have a little bit of this thing going in because now again, if we patch this now without touching this curve, shift three patch and shift click this curve, bam, you see, we get a little bit of a rounding and you can create the second one or you can go outwards or you can push this one even more down as you like. Surface modeling makes it possible. And now we want to delete those curves, select this face. We want to separate it by pressing Alt J command for unjoin. And now just go to the top view, rectangular array, uh, I mean, radial array around the middle, select four and press OK. And if you now press four and join everything and now select with Alt click this curve, Shift three, patch it, and the same here at the bottom, shift three. So you have now a nice object here. And if you want now to learn how you can give here fillets, because as you see, it's impossible to give here anywhere fillets, right? Because we have such an, yeah, I would say complex shape for plasticity. Then check out first link in the description where you will get a ton of content real world products, modeling, full process, step-by-step -step instruction, where I will teach you like very focused technique, like here, how to create all of those fillets in a very manual surface modeling way. So the absolute best professional way, very simple explained and much, much more content. So check it out. First link in the description. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.